Hey Tiger Town, Natalie Sexton here. On today's episode of Sexton in the City, brought to you by Baffin, I'll be chatting with our long snapper, Gordon White, and we'll be braving the elements in our Baffin boots. Hi, Gordon. How are you? Good, how are you? Hi, right, thank you. Thanks for joining me today. Excited to chat with you about all things, not just football. Let's, let's maybe start from the beginning. What were you like as a kid? I was a pretty crazy kid. Um, my, I'm like the opposite of my sister. She was very like laid back by the rules and I was kind of the opposite. Um, like, I would say a rebellious kid. Um, I have like this, we gotta have a lot of home videos of when I was a kid and I was actually watching them like a week ago with my dad. And it's just me like 24 seven, like in the least amount of clothing with like a fire hat on and always a hockey stick just going <laughs> everywhere. So would you still say that you have a rebellious side to you now? Oh, for sure. But it's definitely more like tailored and <laughs> mature rebellious side. So it still sometimes comes out, especially on the field sometimes, or I have to be like, step back a little bit. How would maybe your teammates describe you in a word? There's a lot of words that you described <laughs> as by the Feel team. Feel free, um, share them. <laughs> I'd say energy maybe, which is a very like vague term, but Whenever I come in the room, I bring smiles, I bring energy, I bring positive attitude. You know, when people are down, I can bring them up. But I just say like, I always come into the room with good passion and energy and it kind of lifts other guys up and they can kind of feed off that. And, uh... Did you always want to play football? Did you love it as a kid? Uh, I was actually a big hockey guy growing up. Uh, I played a lot of hockey and lacrosse too. Um, but it kind of got to the point where I was getting to a high level of hockey and football and I had to make a decision and the way my mind was, it was just, I enjoyed football more. I just like how it's, there's way more components to it. Like it's not six on six or like five on five when it, when you talk about hockey, it's 12 guys on the field, all have their own separate thing. You guys all have to do your own job to make the whole scheme work. So I kind of like the aspect and obviously like as a kid, the contact was a thing too. Just I was becoming a bigger guy. So I like that side to it. And what was the first football game you ever remember watching? It was actually a, I'm not gonna say, I don't know what game it was, but it was a playoff game for the Argos. Cause my dad grew up, he was a big Argos fan, um, being from Toronto. And it was at the Sky Dome at the time. Who they were playing, I don't remember cause I was super young, but there was actually a, uh, I probably went to about 12 or 13 Argos games growing up and they lost every single one. But yeah, it was an Argos <laughs> game. It was the first game I watched live, so. So Which now is a good thing, so you look back and I'm like, I'm glad I was there. Yes, absolutely, for sure. What's the best advice that you've ever received? Uh, probably just be yourself. Like, a lot of people these days, they like to kind of tailor who they are to like impress someone or like, they'll be like, oh, this guy is this type of person, so I gotta act like this guy so he likes me. Like, everyone will always see through if you're faking who you are. So I, I would say it's just like, be who you are. And like, if people don't like it, it, it is what it is, but kind of just gotta be yourself, yeah. Pre-game day, what are you eating? Post-game day, I wanna know what your like cheat indulgent meal is. I'm a huge chicken parmesan guy. Um, I love chicken parmesan with some pasta, so that's usually my like pre-game meal the night before. I'll always go find a chicken parm with some spaghetti or penne or whatever it is. Um, love it, it's perfect. My cheat meal is definitely pizza. I love pizza. What's on it? I like Italian sausage, like spicy sausage, mushrooms, onions, stuff like that. Does pineapple belong on pizza? No. Okay. I'm just, I love pineapple, it's my favorite fruit, but it's a fruit. I like it for like what it is, when it's like, biting into a nice piece of pineapple is amazing, but like warmed up on a pizza is just, I don't like that, fair. no. That's fair. Are you a series guy or a movies guy? I'd say, I used to be a movies guy and now I'm a series guy. What are you watching? Um, right now, I just finished Wednesday. Oh, yes. On Netflix, I was very skeptical about it, and I was like, not a big fan of like the whole monsters, like magic, all that stuff, but I absolutely loved it. Just finished it yesterday, and highly recommend, but. Okay, I gotta ask you a fashion question. What is your like favorite purchase you've ever made that you will never, ever get rid of? Clothing-wise, it's basically been shoes. Like, I was a very big sneakerhead growing up, and, uh, there's just a lot of shoes that I've bought that don't get worn much. So they kind of just sit there, but they've sit there throughout the years. And you, every time you see them, like what a good purchase. Have I worn them yet? No, but like I always love 
seeing them. And I actually was stopped being a sneakerhead when I came to Hamilton. Then I roomed with Tunde Adelike first year here and he got me right back into it because he is a massive sneakerhead, so. You basically have a, a museum, a sneaker museum. Yeah. Good, good to know, I like it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna ask you one more question here. The Gordon White movie is being made. Who is playing you? Who is the lead role? Like out of anyone? Yeah. It could be anyone who's any playing actor. me? Yeah. Oh, any actor? Yeah, who's playing you? Well, I'd want someone like semi good looking, so. <laughs> I might even say Matt Damon. He was my favorite in Bo The Bournes, and I've seen him in a lot of movies, and I feel like if he's he met me, and I kind of sh showed him who I own, I think he could play me very well. Yeah, I I'll watch that movie when it comes you should. out, for sure. Thanks for chatting with us. <laughs> no today. problem, I appreciate, I really the, appreciate it. I appreciate Thank the time. You.